Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the potential and kinetic energy of a satellite in orbit around the Earth. And of course we're going to take it as a circular orbit for simplicity. And here's an example. Let's say we have a 1,000 kilogram satellite at a height of 500 kilometers zipping around an orbit around the Earth. Well, how do we find its kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is always going to be 1 half mv squared, but in this case it's going to be the orbital velocity squared. And the orbital velocity is equal to the square root of g times the mass of the Earth divided by the radius of the orbit, which is of course the sum of the radius of the Earth and the height above the surface of the orbit. Um, or surface of the Earth for the orbit, and then if we square that, we get one half m times g m over r. Now that's going to be the kinetic energy of an object in orbit around another object. Little m being the mass of the satellite, big m being the mass of the object that you're going around in orbit, that you're in orbit around of. R is the radius to the orbit of the satellite, and of course g is the gravitational constant Notice that we know that the potential energy is equal to minus g m m over r. Now compare that to the kinetic energy, you see very sim a big similarity. The only difference is that here you have a negative, which you don't have over there. Here you have a one half, which you don't have over here. Which means that the kinetic energy is equal to negative one half times the potential energy, or the potential energy is negative twice the kinetic energy. So as an example, a thousand kilogram satellite, height above the, whoop, got some hair here, a height above the uh, surface is 500 kilometers, and so calculating the potential energy, we end up with minus 5.8 times 10 to the 10 joules. That means that the kinetic energy is negative one half uh, times that, so that becomes positive, half of that is 2.9, so it's 2.9 times 10 to the 10 joules of kinetic energy, and negative 5.8 times 10 to the 10 joules of potential energy, and that is how those are calculated.